Four women offered deeply disturbing testimony today at a Senate hearing into sexual assault and harassment at the U.S. Coast Guard Academy. In the words of one former lieutenant, faith in the Coast Guard within its own members is destroyed. CBS's Scott McFarland reports current and former officers and cadets say a culture of abuse at the Academy has been covered up. The U.S. Coast Guard, charged with protecting America's waterways, has failed to protect its own women, according to Caitlin Morrow, who says she was sexually harassed and assaulted repeatedly, including by a classmate, at the Coast Guard Academy in New London, Connecticut, in 2004. He would assault me during swim class. He would swim up underwater and grab any body, part of my body that, that he pleased. A series of former Coast Guard service women. The abuse becomes so unrelenting, so omnipresent, and so insufferable, we seek relief in suicide. I survived my attempt. And a current cadet. We are always told that you just have to say no. But no to him was an invitation to try again. Told a Senate committee this afternoon it happened to them too. We were paralyzed with fear. In an internal Coast Guard survey last year, more than half of women reported suffering sexual harassment, and nearly one in seven reported unwanted sexual conduct. It is a culture of cover-up that the Coast Guard has spawned and sustained for decades. Coast Guard Admiral Linda Fagan, who took over last year, recently told Congress progress is being made. But in a new report on sex misconduct, the Coast Guard acknowledges a history of a lack of transparency, broken trust, and reports of retaliation against victims. Marrow left the academy after just half a year, saying she was ostracized. Yeah, the bullying and the retaliation um, is, it's, it's crushing. My main perpetrator is currently a lieutenant commander in the Coast Guard. He is thriving in a career that I had hoped for. In a statement to CBS News tonight, the Coast Guard says it's urging members past and present to report any sexual misconduct, but the scrutiny is going to grow. The Senate talked about possible subpoenas for records and emails as it investigates the size of any alleged cover-up. Nora? This is infuriating. It has to end. Scott McFarland, thank you.